Scotland has a housing crisis. Over 170,000 households in Scotland are on council housing waiting lists. 36,000 households are classed as homeless. 75,000 households are overcrowded. The recent Commission on Housing and Wellbeing found that half of all housing in Scotland falls short of the official quality standards. Over the last 10 years, the number of people living in the private rented sector has doubled, mainly because of lack of accessible housing in the social rented sector. An estimated 80,000 families with children live in the private rented sector. The average private rent is 86% higher than the average social rent, so for many the option of private rent is just not an option that they could afford. Over the last 10 years, an estimated 140,000 private rented sector households have been living in relative poverty in Scotland. I find these statistics shocking and unacceptable in our country in 2016. The quality of a child's housing has a direct link on educational attainment, the likelihood of unemployment and, sadly, the likelihood of them living a life in poverty. Poor quality housing has a direct link on both mental and physical health. But it doesn't have to be like this. Every person in Scotland, from our children to our elderly, families and single people, we all need decent housing. Decent housing to work in, to study, to cook, to raise a family, to relax, to grow up, enjoy retirement, indeed to sleep and to feel safe and secure in. It's not really a lot to ask for in 2016, surely. There are also economic benefits that would come from improvement and new house building in the public sector. It would improve access to decent, low-cost social housing, increasing disposable incomes, preventing material deprivation and improving working centres across our communities. It would also support economic growth through direct and indirect employment opportunities. It would support our young people to be able to learn skills, gain a trade, being able to access employment. Every young person in Scotland must be given the opportunity to get a job. So how do we achieve this? I'm demanding the following five things. One, we need a national house build strategy for Scotland. Two, councils need to be able to establish local housing partnerships to plan and build these houses at a local level. Councils must take the lead in that, as, as has happened here in Kelty with this new housing estate. Three, for the social housing that the parties are saying they will build, we need to allocate um, house numbers to each local authority area so that the local authorities can start to plan, plan the land for these houses. Four, we need to establish a national land audit so that we can find out all the land that is in the ownership in the public sector across Scotland. That's not just local authorities, it's health boards, it's the Crown Estate, so that we can then start to plan for building these houses. If we're going to build between 35 to 45,000 council houses, then we need to have the land to do so, and we need to do so in partnership with the private sector so that we have mixed developments right across Scotland. Five, we need a properly planned programme to eradicate poor housing and damp housing right across Scotland. We need to have measurable targets and outcomes. I have published a paper on this crisis outlining the problem and what I think we need to do to resolve it. It's called Housing Crisis, Why We Must Build More Public Housing and you can read it on my website. If you agree that Scotland's housing crisis can't go on, please share this, get the message out and join me and the housing charities on calling on Scotland's politicians, Scotland's parliament and Scotland's government to put an end to this crisis and give Scottish people a decent house for life. <laughs>